Investing mistakes to avoid in the stock market if you are a beginner. You know, we all make mistakes, but investing mistakes should be avoided if you can avoid it. Today, you will see typical investing mistakes. Many people are doing these kind of mistakes. And today you learn how to avoid exactly these kind of mistakes. And like that, you can preserve your money and even make more money. Because by avoiding the biggest mistakes, you avoid also the biggest losses. Stay with us. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hello, my name is Enzo Caputo. I am a Swiss banking lawyer, the owner of the boutique law firm Caputo and Partners and the owner of the blog SwissBankingLawyers.com. This is the place where successful international business people find tips and solutions to better protect their assets with Swiss banks and to pay less tax. Stay with us. We fight for your money. It's a great pleasure today to have Olivier Schedel with us. Olivier Schedel is an experienced asset manager based in Geneva, Switzerland. He came visiting me today to tell about typical investment mistakes. So typical mistakes you should avoid. Typical mistakes usually beginners are doing such mistakes. So Olivier, what kind of mistakes are the most frequent mistakes of beginners? What are the mistakes beginners should avoid? Well, first, thank you for having me. Great pleasure. And I will uh, try to answer some of your questions. Yeah. Um, th this is a very interesting theme. Um, when I look a little bit what is happening right now in the market with the GameStop share uh, a craze about uh, a month ago and now the running after the Bitcoin, um, what does this show me? It shows me that there are a lot of people chasing the same idea and I am absolutely sure that a lot are chasing that idea without knowing where they are going to put their money. So like a herd of sheep running absolutely, behind. Absolutely, absolutely. So one uh, mistake to avoid is to invest without having a strategy. So investing without knowing what you do, just because others are doing investments, that doesn't mean that this is a safe investment, correct? Absolutely. So you have to think yourself, you have to do your own due diligence. Yes, first of all, you, you have to set your goals. You have a certain amount of money. Uh, you have a certain age. If you are 30 years old, definitely you have a much longer time horizon than somebody who is, uh, say, 60 or 65, near retirement. That has a very, very uh, a, a big impact in how to invest. As a relatively young investor, you have a long time horizon in front of you, which means that you can be more aggressive. You uh, might uh, wish to invest much more of your wealth into stocks, yeah. whether when you're close to your retirement, you probably have more municipal bonds and fixed income with a, a, a share proportion, which is probably not much over 30 or 40%. Okay. That is one thing, your strategy. And then um, what is important also is uh, you need to, when you invest, you need to have a certain base portfolio, uh -huh. which are the 10, 15 blue chip stocks of companies you like, you understand, and you would like to be invested in over the long term. So you need to decide which are the companies you like? You have to know your companies you like. You have to know what these kind of companies are doing because you are married with these companies for many years, correct? Then you have yes. to do first your homework and learn what these companies are doing. What is the business model of such company? Have they a big future or have they no future? Warren Buffett once said that yeah. he invests only in companies who have prod uh, who produces 
uh, products which he understands. That's why he had Coca-Cola and uh, these kind of companies. He uh, invested in tech, but relatively recently. Um, what is important, however, is that if you invest in a company, you always know what the company does. Do you understand its business model? Are you, are you familiar with the products and um, are you happy to own a part of that company as part of your portfolio? Mm -hmm. And that leads me to diversifying. That's another principle which a lot of people don't uh, observe. Of course, it's great if you have something where you're absolutely sure it's going to be a, a, do a killing. And if you put all your money in it, if you are lucky, you're going to make money. But your risk is so incredibly high. The risk is too high. This you, is not uh, You not can reasonable. never, yeah. never control all the risks. Mm. So you can also not control the timing. No. So the right timing. When enter into investment and then when, when to go out. This is also very important. So yes. how, how do you... What is your advice? When should somebody invest? Should he do invest everything in one shot or should he, should he spread his investments uh, over time or what, well, what is your experience? This is a very common question which I receive now. Yeah. Because markets are high and people say, well, I have a million dollars, shall I invest it in one go? What should I do? Or shall I just wait until the next crash is coming? Well, the crash might be around the corner, but it might also just not happen for the next two or three years. You don't know. So don't time the market. And since you don't know what is going to happen in future, you have to, that's really my advice, you have to spread your investments over a certain how long? period of time. All the six months or how I would say six to, 12 six, months. six to 12 months. You put a quarter right in now yeah. Yeah. in those companies which you think these are the ones I really want to own. But maybe do you do half positions. If you like Apple and you want to have, I don't know, 5% of your assets in Apple, put 2% in it and buy another 2% in six months. Mm -hmm. You might buy it lower or higher. You don't know, but at least you will avoid uh, uh, not being invested at all and then regret because the stock goes up. Yeah. And if the stock corrects, you're going to be so happy because you're going to buy the apple at a cheaper level. Mm -hmm. So spread it over a certain uh, 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 time. And so I, I would say six to so 12 to months. So to not do how much? Six, six to, to 12, 12 months. Six to 12 months. So you should really diversify also time-wise your investments and not invest all the amount in one shot, but distribute the amounts from six to 12 months time period. Tell us another typical mistakes, another very frequent mistakes uh, investors are doing, especially beginners. What Diversification. Diversification, they, okay. A lot of investors um, omit to know that actually uh, a stock portfolio should be diversified. Uh, and it's not only diversified into stocks from your own country. You should diversify much broader into Asia, into Europe, uh, into America, um, because markets do not always go into the same direction. Mm -hmm. And uh, you might have growth in certain geographical areas in the world where others are rather stagnating. Mm -hmm. So by diversifying, you uh, avoid to put all your eggs in the same basket. It's a diversification into geographical areas, but also into stocks. Don't put everything into tech stocks. A typical example would be somebody who in November... Or Bitcoin. To, these people, or, or, or in or Bitcoin. These people who are investing in Bitcoins like crazy. They put, I know many people, they put all their money they have into Bitcoins. So this is a high risk or what is your I opinion think, about this Bitcoin you know, investment? You, you can have an opinion on Bitcoin and Bitcoin mm. probably is going to be around in the next uh, 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 10 years. Yeah. Yes. However, the question right now is how do you value the Bitcoin? It was $8,000 not that long ago. It's $60,000 now. Is that the fair price, the right price? You don't know. Market will tell. And the market will tell you only in future. So put a little bit into Bitcoin if you'd like, but 
keep some cash to buy again bitcoins maybe at a lower level also diversification here also absolutely everywhere and and if not bitcoin why not gold or gold stocks these are the most uh, the, the cheapest actually uh, 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 segments in the market nobody wants it right now and one of the principles is also uh, sell high and buy low. If you buy gold and gold stocks now, you buy low. You buy low, so because the and prices it, are very low, so it's a good opportunity now to invest in gold stocks. So you should example, analyze gold stock, make your homework. This is very important. Rule number one to avoid a bad investment is doing your homework. So go over the gold stocks companies and check what they do verify the history what they are doing their business model make your own research and then you take your own decision but based on research and this is a typical opportunity because these companies are undervalued at the moment and gold will have this is also my opinion a big future so that's why this is an opportunity to invest in undervalued gold mine companies for example and about three or four months ago yeah um Everybody just had tech stocks. And it's true. Technology has had, since the first appearance of COVID, a, a, a great run. Undoubtedly. But now? But the value stocks kept totally behind. And it's only now that they catch up because investors, or what you could call the market, realize that maybe the tech stocks went a little bit too fast, too high, and that they're they need a little bit of breathing space and that some other stocks uh, uh, might actually be a good buy because nobody wanted them and that doesn't mean that they are bad stocks it's just that they were not in the focus line of, uh, of many investors exactly and we see that we see many that's why people are talking today about the big rotation that means that people are rediscovering again value stocks they are discovering value stocks so they go back from these tech investments, they go back to value, value investment. A la Warren, a la Warren Buffett, correct? He's a value investor. I can give you an example. Yeah. Tesla, for example. Yeah. Tesla had an, a stellar run. Great, great company, good products. Volkswagen uh, traded at seven times earnings not long ago. Nobody wanted Volkswagen. Volkswagen is now the largest car maker in the world. They have electric cars probably as good as Tesla but it's only now that people realize the real value which is under Volkswagen and that's why Volkswagen added about 100 euros to the stock price in the last what two months or something like this so there is a an equilibrium to be mm -hmm. uh, to to, um, to to observe yeah right and one thing you have to avoid also don't put your money into dying stocks or stocks which uh, might not be around in five or ten years. For example, what can you tell us? <laughs> well, a, a good example in the past was Kodak, for example. Eastman Kodak uh, missed totally the digital uh, uh, age. And, um, well, as you know, it was a, a, a Dow Jones... Um, uh, uh, element and it disappeared. Mm -hmm. It virtually disappeared. disappeared. Completely, yeah, yeah. Um, the steel stocks and all the heavy industry stocks uh, about a hundred years ago, that was the majority of the Dow Jones index. Uh, most of these are not in the index anymore. But we need steel today also. Today well, we need steel. But they, they, they do the steel much cheaper in India or in oh. China and yeah. other countries, but not anymore in the States or in I see. Europe. I see. So you have to go with time. Think always when you put money into a stock, do you think that the products and the business model will hold for the next five to ten years? Mm -hmm. uh, there is no absolute uh, certainty, but you have a good, if you do a little bit your homework, you can have a good feel uh, whether important. this is uh, true. Do your homework and verify the information, study do your homework, do your analysis, analyze the business model and ask yourself, has this company a future or has this company no future? If the company has no future, you should definitely cancel this company from, from, your, from your list of investments.
Maybe one other thing I yeah. could uh, uh, mention. Don't be driven by emotions. You have to be rational. Yeah. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, there was a, and I say was because it disappeared, there was a, a company called Wirecard in Germany. Yeah. It was part of the DAX index, a heavyweight, one of the only technology stocks in, in Europe. And uh, a lot of people just put money on it because everybody did. And it was a tech stocks and it was fashion and they didn't Don't really... Don't do that. Don't invest your money. When everybody is investing, you should not invest. Yeah. Can we say this as a rule? Yes, yeah. because what happened is suddenly, uh, thanks to a, 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 an investigative journalist uh, from uh, the UK, they found out that actually a lot was fraudulent mm. and that the money which they said they had on balance sheet never even existed. They discovered so the, the money, I think, in the Philippines or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Some and then the stock, of course, uh, collapsed. Yeah. And you saw that everybody was caught in this game. Even the, the regulator didn't see anything wow. because they didn't do their homework. They just believed the figures which were presented. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, and that uh, tells me again how important diversification is. If yeah. you had put all your money in the wire card, you would have lost everything right now. Yeah, yes. So, But if you have put five, maybe even 10% of what you have in wire card, well, if you're young, you can probably say, I will come over it. Okay. And I have 90% which uh, made profit. So in a way, you're not uh, losing the wealth you, you, but if you, you are have older, worked for. If you're older, this can, be, this can kill you. This can kill it you can. as a financial the Absolutely. future. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Information just like this cannot be found in bibliotheques, not in the internet, and not in libraries. If you like more information just like this, please pre subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button, like, share, and subscribe, and be with us also for future videos. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Olivier. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.